Hello everyone, I'm Jim and I'm really happy that you are back with me for episode 15 since we talked enough about the if statements. In this video we are going to cover what are lists in Python and why they are so powerful. So remember how we discussed about four different types of variables until now? They are called strings, integers, floats and booleans. Well today you can say welcome to our fifth variable type and we are going to learn about it today and it's called list. Now think of a list as basically a container of different types of variables so you can store information in it. So you can have list that is going to store for example three strings or you can have another list that is going to store seven strings and the amount of items does not matter to Python and also the type of the variable does not matter to Python. So you can have a list that is going to contain for example 9 strings and 10 integers in the same list. So you can store in a list as much as information you want. So let's start with an example. So let's clean the file first. Alright, so basically the way you can define a list is by square brackets. So I can have a variable and call it names like this and make this equal to square brackets. And this means to Python, okay, so names is actually a list with zero items on it. So what you can do is to start put items on your list. And you have two ways to do that. So the first way would be is just going between your square brackets and let's add a string here and call it Michael. So now you have a list with one item on it. And if I want to add another item, I can do that. So let's add another name here and tell it Jim. So now I have a list with two strings on it. And if I go down a line and I try to print those names, I will get back the list actually how it is defined here on the first line. And also let's give an example for the second way you can add items to your list. So if you remember when we talked about methods, we talked about how each type of variable has its own method. So the strings are having their own methods and the integers. And also when it comes to lists, it is the same case. So the lists are having their own methods. So if I go down a line here, and I try to access the names variables methods. You can see I have a list of methods that I can do with lists. So it is important to understand. And if I click here the append method, what append is going to do is basically just going to add the element or the item, whatever you call it, here between into the list of names because we chose to work with the names list. So if I click here and I put John, what is going to happen if I print this? Actually Actually, now I changed my list, alright? As you see, I have now three items on my list. And this is because the names actually is equal to list with two names on it. And what I did in the line after that is actually adding another one. So this is how our final list is look like. And we have also another method that is called remove. And you can guess what this method is going to do. So I can now here put the item that I actually want to remove. But what I have now is actually a list with two names on it. So obviously it does not make sense to try to remove John when you don't have John in this list. So if I go here and I try to remove Jim, what is going to happen is simply this Jim string is going to be removed from the list. So if I print it, you see I get only Michael back. So this is another method that you can use when you have list. For sure, if you just want to remove the element from the list you can just delete those lines and now names.remove is not necessary so if I run this one more time I get the same result. Alright so the next topic that I want to cover is called indexing and what the indexing is about. So basically what you have to remember is by default Python is going to mark your index number of each item by some number. So for example, if you want to access only the first item of your list, you can basically type into Python, hey, give me the first element only. So to show you how you can do that, let's just put back here Jim and John. 
Great. So the first element is actually going to be equal to zero and the second one is going to be one and the next one is going to be two. So this is how Python indexes each of the lists you are going to put in. And for sure, if I was about to put another string right there, so its index number is going to be three. And for example, if I want to print just the first element, all I have to do is typing names as I did here and hit the square brackets and type in the index number like this. So now if I print this, I will get only Michael back. And if I change this from zero to one, then I'm going to get back Jim for sure. So this is how you can pick up specific items from your lists. And to take that one step further, what I also can do is accessing range of elements starting from some point to another. So I can take that one from here and I can put that zero and by the colon sign I can actually specify a range of items that I want to get back. So if I put in two here, what this is going to do, it is going to give me all the elements from zero to one and not two because the last number is not included okay this is how the range works when it comes to collecting items by range so if i put here zero colon two what i will get back is michael and jim because you remember last number is not included so this is another way that you can pick up elements from list and the last one that i want to talk about it is really tricky but it is very nice to have and it is the ability of python to index from the end to the beginning so you remember how we specified the indexing with regular numbers? What Python is also going to do, it is going to mark the indexes from the last item to the first item. So by default, the last item is going to be marked as minus one and the right after it is going to be marked as minus two and the last one is going to be marked minus three and for sure if i had another element right there it would be minus four let's put here the comment sign so now let's just fix this Great, so this is how Python indexes when it comes to another way of indexing. And now it is really simple for me to access the last element. So I can put the minus one and if I print this, I get John back because it does not make sense to write in two here to get the last element. And why it does not make sense? Because not always you know how much elements you have in your list. So let's say that you have had 20 items in this list you are not going to count until your each element to reach that number so it is really simple to get that last element from minus one and as a last example if i put here minus two then i will get back jim for sure so it is really important to remember the two ways of indexing that python does and this is pretty much it about lists so we learned about append and remove and how the python is indexing our lists so i really recommend you to take the exercises about the lists from my website because it is really important topic and you want to be really familiar with lists and get used to it and feel comfortable with them so don't forget to crack the subscribe button and also like this video I will see you in the next one.